Hello, the game has started. It's me to go first. This looks quite a nice rack, but I can't see a bingo. But Compt will score well. 28 points. Pretty good. I have retinol. Nowhere for that on the board at the moment. But I could have a bingo through one of these floaters. I think Turpinol is good through the P. Trotline is good through the T. And the C looks quite promising as well. But I can't immediately think what the bingo is, if indeed there is one. Well, hopefully one of my bingos will play. I can't think of any three-letter front extensions to Compt. And I have a slight doubt about it. I'm not sure if it takes an S at the end, or indeed if it's good. I may be confusing it with something similar like a Compt. But if it does come off, well, it's a fairly balanced rack, and there are some eights. In particular, there's Contempo, where my opponent to play. The right floater. Retinol, I don't think, has any anagrams. Maybe there isn't a bingo through the sea. My opponent taking a while with his opening move, nearly two minutes gone on his clock. Maybe he's close to a bingo. I'm just wondering if Turpinol has an anagram. I can't bring it to mind if it does. Great, Compt stays on. Trotline still available. But neither my Turpinol nor Trotline gets doubled, so is there something better? Well, Polisa is good, I think, so I could play Retinol in row J for more points. This P also wouldn't get doubled. I haven't seen anything through an additional O. So I think I will play Retinol and Polisa. Seventy two points. Quite good. Slightly vowel heavy. But I do have a scoring tile in the C. And there may be an eight letter bingo here. I would have Lido Kane through an L and a D. Well, I can't see a bingo. So how to sort this rack out, I certainly want to play off some of these vowels. But if I play off the C as well, I risk having a vowel heavy rack leave. So a play like Ionic would leave AE, which is risky. There's a high probability of having a vowel heavy rack next time, and really I want to move on to the next bingo. I could play OI in column 5, making PO and OI, and taking out a hot, quite a hot spot. And the rack leave of ACEIN, although it's vowel heavy, is quite a nice rack leave with two consonants it's likely to be close to a bingo now what if that IO spot is blocked and it is 48 points for my opponent good score for him I could play OI and OXO do I have a longer play down here well the O would have to go next to OX 
A or E next to Y and N next to the PE. So, ah, oh, well, I could play, ah, oh, I could play A on. That's keeping two I's. However, I'm also keeping the C, which goes well with the I. And it's 26 points, which is a good score. And the board's fairly tight, so I'm inclined to play this. I'm just wondering about Aonic, A E O N I C. 22 points and a better rack leave. Well, I'm not totally sure of that. However, I don't like keeping duplicate eyes. So I'm going to see if this stays on. Great, if it does, I've drawn the first blank and this looks very close to a bingo. I've got binds with the blank as an S and binet with it as a T. Both of those play in row L, making Naz and Nat. And I think Aonic is good. I'm feeling better about it. So I've got row L bingos. Do I have bingos elsewhere. Well, not that I've seen so far. Row G looks promising for a bingo beginning with a vowel. But I can't see one. The C doesn't look particularly promising with this rack. Unless beaching is good, but I'm not sure about that. The eye doesn't look particularly helpful since it duplicates the tile on my rack. I'm going to see if anything comes to mind. Bio. Let me get these in the right order. So, do I have biogenic? No. I don't. That looks close to something. Bedewing through a W. My opponent again using quite a lot of time. He may be in time trouble later and I'm inclined to play quickly to put him under pressure. Bleeding through a D. Bleeping through an L. Bearing. Or maybe bearing's the phony. Rebegin, certainly good. And is there a third one? By Jenna, perhaps. Possibly bee sting. Yeah, I think bee sting is good. That will be through a T. And by nets, neither of which plays through the T of Compt. Ah, I know if if Compt takes an S, then column 9 is also available for binds. Beating, I think, is good. Beveling through an L. Breezing through an R. But nothing that I've seen ends with a T, and I think that would be the best bingo. Great binds. I could play it in row L, but I can now play it in row O. Eighty-six points. 
well, not a great rack, but there is some synergy going on here. I can play Guff or Gruff and sort the rack out in one. But there aren't many spots to actually play anything. NA doesn't take an F at the end. It, it does take a G, but that doesn't really help. I'm not really too bothered about the score because this rack is so non-bingo-y that just sorting it out would be reward enough. And my opponent provides nothing. P does take a G. But P takes nothing in front. Now, have I really not got anywhere for Guff or Gruff? Griffin through an eye, this eye doesn't work. So 16 minutes on my clock, 12 on my opponents. I think I have runoff as well. Nowhere for that. For that. Can't see anything coming down column seven. What about coming down column five through this O and E? So I've got the four prefix. Four gun, not good. I would have offing through an I. Now, do I have anything in column twelve ending? Well, it would end I G. So. I was thinking of gone if, but that ends with the F, not the G. Well, this is a much trickier rack than I was expecting. I could play Fungi in, in column 12. It doesn't feel particularly good. Keeping F, O, R. I could play Figo. That feels a little bit better. Well, I think I would like to get rid of the U. There's still two to come. 19 points for Figo. 10 for Fungi. Well, I could play Fung and Nag, taking out a bingo lane. And burning the U. That feels better. And the rack leave has some synergy. Fun go is good. But NAO isn't. Just looking around if there is anywhere for fun go. Can't see anywhere. So fun for 16, not a great score, but it is sorting the rack out. Well, I retained the F and that is my only scoring tile so this isn't a great rack it's a non bingo -y rack but it's balanced and my priority is to play off one of the duplicate A's and the F possibly the O and the G as well goof would work can't see anywhere for that Ah, oh, well, yes, goof under fung, ug, no, and naga. That's quite nice. I have a slight doubt about goof, but I have doubts about lots of things. Let me see what this looks like. It still looks problematic, but I think I will try it. The rack leave is great. The score's okay and it's not giving anything away. If it stays on, I've got the second blank. I have dwarves on my rack with the blank as an E. And that does play in column 9 if Compt takes an S. And I think I will try it. I've got a good lead. I may have Van Wards through an N or an A, but 
I don't, I don't feel great about that. I can't see anything onto the T of Compte. Ionic has really tightened the board up in that it doesn't take an S after it and very few bingos end in an I. Now I note that Ewe is good, so I could have a play placing my W here. So I could play Wud, opening up column 15, which may be worth doing since I've got an S and a blank. However, there are still three S's to come, and Wud also takes a U, and Wud doesn't play off the V, so that's probably not a great play. I can't see any other bingos. If there were another bingo, it would probably involve the blank being a vowel. So dwarfs with an E, can't see anything with an A, I, O, or U. Ten minutes on my opponent's clock. Only 37 tiles left. So this game is going quite quickly. At the moment, I don't have a second choice if dwarves in column 9 is blocked. I guess it would be nice to play something like VAW somewhere. But there's not much opportunity on this board for playing anything. So I still don't have an alternative play. I note for future reference that Ugg takes an H after it. Both H is still to come, so a five-letter play across here ending in H is going to score around 50 points, so that's quite hot. And hopefully if I can play Dwarves next go, I've got a good chance of drawing one of those H's. Quite a balanced bag, quite a lot of bingoey tiles in it. Just the J and the Q of the, of the really high scoring tiles to come. Again, my opponent taking a while with this move. Great dwarves not blocked. Just pausing in case my opponents provided a good opportunity. Well, maybe if there was something in row F through the eye. Can't see anything. Ah, my blank gets doubled. Dwarves, 79. I have re-waked and reeked. Nowhere for either of them at the moment. But if my... Ah, I was hoping my opponent might opening might open something up. He hasn't. Always annoying to have a bingo which doesn't go down. And I haven't drawn one of the H's. However, I've got a good lead. I'm 150 points ahead. So, I'm not in bad shape. I've drawn the second W, which again can go between the between the eyes here and again I've got a D so I could play Wud but then I haven't I haven't got a U or an S for going after it so I'm and there's still five of, of those to come so that would be just gifting something for my opponent no wish to do that Wox is good and an A can go after the L and a K can go in front of the I, but whack isn't good. How annoying. Just looking for alternate, alternative three-letter plays here. I suppose WAD. I could play WAD. Or WED. WED. That leaves a balanced rack leave. This and is going to score quite well. 29 points. Yep. I think that's I think that's fine. Ah, I draw one of the H's, which is good. 
Do I have a five or six letter play? Don't think I do. But maybe I can play the K off the score. Or maybe I don't, it doesn't need to be a five letter play. Maybe I can just have a shorter play. I note that were I to have an O, noob is good. So what do I have ending in H? R A H. 29 points, keeping K I E R. Well, that's quite nice because this board is super tight. There are zero bingo lanes on it. And I have an E for going underneath the R. This stops my opponent sticking his H there. And next go, either I can use row, row O for a triple word square. And if my opponent uses it, I might have something down here from in column two with my K on this triple word square. Just pausing in case I have a five letter play. I don't have ARA, that would need two A's. No, I can't see a better play. I draw the second H. So I've got a hike at the moment at 01 for a big score. My opponent could well take that out. There are three E's to come. So he could play something like Jade for a big score. But he's great, he doesn't. Fantastic. Now he has opened the board up. I'm close to Thinker and Trinket. And Knitter. Well, Knitter plays. 24 points, 13 tiles left. But I think the score for Hike, or Hiker, even better, is going to be much better than that for Knitter. Hiker, 44, po 44 points. Wow, that is a fantastic pickup. I have Sturtor and Snotter through the end through one of the ends of Wenny. Snotters rather. Now do I have anything onto the H of Hiker? Can't see anything. So I think the only bingo I have which plays is Snotters. And that could be blocked. Now what about row G? Only six squares to the right of the E, but my S could go above the T. So do I have a play beginning S, E? Can't see one. Fantastic. Snotters remains available. And this is going to empty the bag. Pretty lucky pick up, 68 points. And a nice final five tiles. Now, my opponent has Judoist, but nowhere to play it. Can I go out in one? I've got Baited on my rack. Column two, not available. Nothing goes in front of Wax or Die. However nice Bell looks. I've got bread in row H, but that doesn't go out in one. When he takes nothing after it. Can't see anything through the V and the I. No longer got a W for going between these I's. Now, what about bread? I mentioned that earlier, 24 points. Well, I think all of my candidate plays are around snotters. Okay, so 24 points for my opponent. Can I play through this J? Well, I could play Targe, but that's not getting tripled, which is what I want to achieve. Now, I can see what my opponent's got. He's got IOT, so he can play Toit. Does he have an alternative 
out. Yes, he has oint. So maybe I should play to the left of Snotters to block those outs. So I could play eat. Leaving me with BD. So do I have two outs for B and D? Well, I have Deb and Oob. Do I have a second out? I don't think I do. So can I do something better than eat? Banda wouldn't work because Toit would still be available. What about Vatted? No, that doesn't kill Oint. So what about a play th through this R and T? What about Ratted? Does that stop my opponent? No, because my opponent's got Riot. Okay, so he's got Riot and he's got Oint. I don't think I can block all of those, unless I've got something. Do I have a four-letter play coming down here? No, I don't. And I don't have a five-letter play coming down from the Y. So I can't stop my opponent from going out. So I'm inclined to play bread. Which gives him Iota. Now he may not see any of the outs I've mentioned, so I don't want to make it easy for him. So why don't I play R Deb instead? I don't think there are any any easy plays using IoT through that. Okay. I'm left with a T, I've got tail, I've got T, so I can certainly go out if my opponent doesn't spot oint or toit. Okay, nice spot for my opponent. Pass to end the game. And the final score, 262 to my opponent, 521 to me. A winning margin of... 259 points so a huge huge win let's see what i missed it was me to go fast compt was good as was coempt which i didn't see So I played Compt. This was my opponent's rank. Does he have a bingo? He had Lupiest and Liposome, neither of which he played. I have Retinol. Trotlined for 77 points. Oh, wow, look at that. Down from the T. I was looking for plays which ended in the T, and I missed the one coming down from it. And that's despite having spotted trotline through this t well that's that's remiss so i did actually see trotline in column eight but not with the t as the first t so that's poor i went for retinol so it only cost me five points but damage to my pride now my opponent plays yex this is my rack i played aonic but look at this aconitine was available at eight c through the t and the n and that is a word that is in my card box so it's a word I've studied and I didn't see it 64 points I played Aonic for 22 Sig a significantly inferior move my opponent plays Cull which was great because I could then play play Binds for 86 yeah and a whole bunch of other bingos were available my opponent's rack he plays Zoa and this was an interesting rack 
I played Fung in the end for th for 30, I think. Did I? No, I didn't. That would be... Ah. Oh. Well, that would be beginning under the eye of Aeonic, but it's retaining the U, so that's not so good. What did I do? I played Fung and Nag for 16. Nuff at L12. Yeah, I think Nuff in this spot is probably the best play just because the additional score justifies retention of the U. My opponent's rack, he plays Ale. This was my rack. K5. Ah, oh, I didn't think about putting my F between the E and the F. Very nice. I played Goaf, which was good. And although Far scores seven more points, ARS is an excellent three-letter rack leave. But AJORS is a pretty good five-letter Rackley, so there may not be much between these, or one of them may be better than the other, but I would need analysis to determine it. Now, this looks a nice rack for my opponent. No bingo, though. And now I have dwarves. There was a bingo with the blank as an A, Vowards. And Swarved as well, but dwarves scores the most. My opponent's rack, he plays Chi. And I, I now have a bingo which doesn't play. And I played Wed for 29, and I like the score and rack leave. My opponent's rack, he plays Mam. Now, this is where I played Ra for 29, and that looks fine. My opponent's rack, he plays Wenny. I then have Hiker for a good score. My opponent... Oops, plays Vor, and now this is where I get super lucky, pick out a bingo and play Snotters for 68. My opponent's got Judoist, nowhere for it, he plays Juds. Now, I played Ardeb, which actually gave my opponent Obit, but it was impossible to stop my opponent going out, and interestingly, Ardeb was the highest scoring play, which I hadn't appreciated. Finally, yeah, these are all the outs that my opponent had, and he spotted one of them, so well done to him for that. So, pretty exciting game, high scoring, plenty of bingos, so I hope you enjoyed watching that, and I will see you next time.